Hi, in this tutorial I will show you how to create this elegant waterfall parade half up with flower parade. This time I'm parading to my sister's long hair. Beginning the style from side, take a piece of hair and share the piece in three equal sections. Then start the braid, bring the right over, left over and right over. Take some hair from the top, then leave the left strand out and replace that strand with the new one. Bring that over. Then right over, add hair. Leave the left strand out and replace that with the new one. Bring the strand over. Right over, add hair. Leave the left strand out and replace it with the new one. Bring the strand over. Right over, add hair. Leave the left strand out, replace it with the new strand and bring the strand over. Right over, add hair, leave the left out, replace it with the new one and bring the strand over. Keep on repeating the pattern like this until you reach it the place where you want the flower. When you want to end the waterfall parade, don't leave the waterfall strand anymore and parade a few stitches a regular 3 strand parade. Next, I take some hair to the flower parade. I use also the waterfall parade for that and then I tie the bunch of hair together with an elastic. Next, I separate the piece of hair in two and then I separate another piece in three. Then I start to braid a normal three strand braid. You can bring the hair over or under the middle one. Important is that you bring the side strand to the middle. In this braid, I also pancake the another side of the braid. In that way, the petals of the flower will show up much more better than without pancaking. Then just repeat the same with another piece of hair. Again, three strands, make sure that they are equal, and then start the braid. Once the braids are ready, I spin them to the flower. Take a first braid, create a circle like this, and then secure the first circle with the puppy pin. Then just keep on spinning the braid around that first circle. When you come to the end of the braid, secure the end 
with the poppy pin again. Then I take the another braid and spin it around just the same way as I did before. Then just use the another puppy pin to make sure that the braid won't slip away. And here's the final result of this hairstyle. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you like it. To support this channel, you can always subscribe and hit the thumbs up for this video. Thank you.